the right lobe is minimally hypochoic. Considering the age of the patient and the normal ATPO level, the decreased echogenicity is due to aging. There are tiny cystic areas within the lobe. These should not be regarded as pathological findings. These correspond to dilated macro follicles. The left lobe is demonstrated, first with better harmonization. There is an esohyperechoic nodule within. The nodule has pale granules and lines which are presentations of connective tissue. Note relatively broad anechoic rims upper and lower to the nodule. The lesion has bright echogenic granules, as well. The less harmonious setting reveals a more detailed pattern. The interpretation of the hyperechoic granule is quite difficult. At first sight, it can correspond to microcalcification. However, this granule is related to ventral cystic area. In my opinion, the possibility of microcalcification cannot be full excluded but there is no way we can be sure of that. A single, isolated punctate echogenic granule with doubtful interpretation should not be regarded as microcalcification when classifying the nodule. Note the cystic areas ventral to the granule. In this image, the nodule seems to have a short tail, so even comet tail artifacts should be considered. The lesion has intranodular blood flow, otherwise the vascularity is not specific.